Hello everybody and welcome to another unboxing video today for Jurassic World Dominion and today we are doing the next of the Lego sets and that is the third biggest I believe but we are doing probably one of the most popular sets that I've seen because like it immediately sold out on the first day on the Lego store for like 24 hours so you guys probably know it it is of course the Quetzalcoatlus plane ambush and yeah I got it right this time there's no dinosaur after Quetzalcoatlus because this isn't even a dinosaur and one thing I will say straight away is that I absolutely love how big this Quetzalcoatlus is because I was worried when I saw the Quetzalcoatlus that were they just gonna remodel the Pteranodon but keep it the same size for Quetzalcoatlus but no they've actually clearly made it bigger because I mean, just look at it in the size of the plane, which, gotta say, is really good. And, unfortunately, the downside of this set is if you don't want the Quetzalcoatlus, you don't get any new characters, because you get Owen Grady, Claire Deering, and Kayla Watts, all who are in the Giganotosaurus Therese and the Source set that we have already unboxed, which, if you haven't done so, please check that out. It's really, really good, guys. I'm not being biased at all. I mean... Maybe, maybe a little bit, but still, go check it out. Also, go check out the T-Rex one, because, well, that one was fun, too. But, if we just look at the side, oh, yeah, there's the Quetzalcoatlus there again, and also, if we look at the back of the box, we get to see some parts of the plane, the inside, which, thankfully, you can fit all three characters in the cockpit. Sure, it's not fully accurate, because realistically, Kayla and Owen would be beside each other because of the way the film was shown in the trailer, but, you know, it's a miniaturized version. What do you expect, Austin? But it's really in scale with the Quetzalcoatlus, definitely, and the Quetzal looks actually really good. Also, I'm noticing that its feet actually are not like little clips like the Pterandon, which might have to find the Pterandon to compare them, which, kind of surprising that we didn't get a Pterandon. Well, no, we did get one in the junior set, a blue one I think it was, but still. First time in the normal line that we didn't get a Pterandon, so pretty cool actually. Also, you can see its size actually, which is 29 centimeters or 11.5 inches, almost a foot long, which, god, that's bigger than I even thought it was going to be. I don't and that's the wingspan, guys, so that's crazy. Also, we get a height scale on the corner here, just like every other set. Although, I wouldn't really trust it, as they made T-Rex way bigger than the Giga was in the other one. So, who knows if this e is even accurate. I mean, realistically, this Ketza is bigger than anything in the franchise, apart from Mosasaurus and Sauropods. Which, depending on which Sauropod, it might be bigger than a Patasaurus in height. So, I don't know, but... I think we should waste no more time here because there's not much to the box because it's a smaller box and let's get it open and I didn't forget me trusty knife don't see any tape lines yep yep it's making me oh the tapes underneath oh no that's plastic well we had to break the box a little bit but it's not too damaged at least it went better than the t-rex one that's for sure now let's pull them out and get all oh I already see the wing of one of the well one of the wings of the Ketza oh oh god and there's the little packet which whoa that is okay that is huge actually that is I mean comparing it to the others but only two oh no three packages and okay there's the other wing I was like we're missing a wing so there's the Ketza and also we need to get oh yeah the connectors are inside and oh, Oh, there's the stickers, and I'm gonna waste no time here and get started. Oh yeah, only 45 minutes later, we have liftoff! And 
just looking at this plane, I gotta say it looks exactly like the one in the movie. Like, I mean, it's in scale with the Quetzalcoatlus, definitely. Like, it looks exactly like the shot. Like, you can get it, like, you can get it into that shot, I'm pretty sure, like, where it's on top. Well, not exactly. I mean, could you actually, like, you could position the wings, like, sort of like this. Yeah, I mean, you could do that. It kind of looks... Kind of looks weird though when you think about it, but you know, the Quetzalcoatlus. Let's start with this, and then we'll go on to the helicopter. And I have um, a T-Rex and Tyrandon here because I wanted to give this guy some scale to see like how big he is. And oh, jeez, dropping stuff. And first thing I actually noticed when I was grabbing the T-Rex, what, and looking at it with the Quetzalcoatlus, was that if you lay them out together. The Tyran, I mean Quetzalcoatlus, actually is longer in wingspan than the T-Rex is from head to tail. I don't think it is to the Giga, I'll probably have to double check that. I'm prob- I'm betting the Giga is probably longer still, since it actually is way longer than the T-Rex. It's also taller, but frontwards, it's- the Quetzalcoatlus is not. It's close though there too. And for the Tyrandon, I mean just look at this. Look at this. He fits in his body, like, I just stuck them together with, um, the Lego piece, and yeah, th this Tyrandon is tiny, like, it's not as small as it should be, c considering what the prologue showed us, I mean, these guys look like little mini birds, but, you know, they definitely made sure that this guy does look really, really big, and especially because he goes perfectly in scale with the airplane, that's what I cared about most, but, also, the paint job on this is nice, especially on the head, like, the body's pretty much all white except for this gold stripe here, but the head, it's got some nice orange, gray, hints of blue, and even some feathering look on the head, which is nice, actually. I do wish it had a little bit more on, like, the body, but, you know, could be worse, actually. At least they added the gold instead of making it just white, but, you know, that's, I'd say the Quetzalcoatlus is definitely a surprise one. Like, I was kind of worried if they were, when they were originally saying they were doing that, because I was like, is it going to be basically just a Tyrannon, Tyrannon size, but reshaped head? But no, they, they just expanded it completely. Like, it's got different mechanics on it and stuff, and even its feet. Unlike with the Tyrannon, where it's just little clip bits, these actually have, are shaped like actual feet, which is awesome for me. But, let's go on to this airplane, which, yes, you can fit all of the, um, characters in, all three of them, just as it showed on the, uh, what was it, box. And also, in a way, you could actually put them in the back as well, so you could even have more characters if you want, which is awesome. But, also has some little controls here, so you can have her, like, pil actually pilot it. And also, nice work on here for making it look like a rough rusty plane basically because it doesn't look like it's like the high quality plane that you really want it it looks like one of those underground kind of secret cargo planes which is what it is really because it's for transporting dinosaurs which one thing i will notice is that if i get my atrociraptor here and i take out this little thing that's here uh, there we go i think I could fit him. Oh, nope. Never mind. I was gonna say it'd be cool if. Nope. Ugh. I was gonna say it would be cool if this guy. If these ones could fit in there. Which, I mean, you can fit the baby dinosaur, sure. But it would have been cool. Like, you could combine this with the um, multi sets. It's like you're Kayla, you're arriving on the plane, and you're picking up a, or dropping off a delivery of an Entrosraptor. And it'd be cool if it just fit in there, but nope, it, it just is a little too tall, which is a little unfortunate, but I do like how you can open the top and bottom, so it just lo it actually looks really good on the inside too. Very simple, but it's probably one of their best flying things. Like, they've, they've improved so much. Like, Jurassic World, you had the um, Mizrani helicopter, which looked okay, but it didn't really look like a actual helicopter, it looked really like a Lego Lego helicopter at that time, which, I mean, Lego's always evolving and changing, but then if you look at Fallen Kingdoms, which I think is out of camera, but it's on my top shelf, it, they completely redid the helicopter and it looked absolutely amazing, just like the one in the opening for the movie, 
And then this one being a plane, not a helicopter, which actually we did get a helicopter in the um, Giga set, which was kind of a cheapy version, but it still looked like a like the helicopter was supposed to, which is fine. But then this one, it's it's the one you want to pay for for a flying vehicle in this one. It it looks exactly like the plane. And we haven't seen it like fully except for, you know, it getting absolutely wrecked. Which also, speaking of which, turns out that these um these um windmills for the engine actually can be taken off, both of them to be precise. So you can pretend like your Quetzalcoatlus actually flies at them and starts like ripping them apart and that's what causes your plane to crash, which is really really good. It has some battle damage there, which is nice. And I gotta say that of all the sets that I've seen done so far, which is only two at three at the moment, including this, and I still have four left actually so yeesh, I gotta get back on that and it's, I don't know why I waited a month really between them I I don't know what I was thinking but all in all this set is so far really really good and nice playability you can combine it with other sets and stuff as I said I would have liked if um you could fit something like the Atrociraptor in here, which probably means that you can't fit the Pyroraptor or Dilophosaurus in either, so it's a little unfortunate too. So you'd have to pretend like with baby dinosaurs, like maybe she's transporting copies and you can use the baby dinosaurs as like copies or something. I'm pretty sure there's a green one in one of the sets, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, that is going to wrap up this video, guys. Do you guys enjoy your Lego sets, and if so, which one is your favorite of this? Is it the Quetzalcoatlus here, or is it another one? And if so, for either answer, why is that? But leave those in the comments below, and if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt to see more unboxing videos, whether Legos, Mattels, or I don't know, anything else that's drastic. And until next time, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.